Ever since the Big Bang, scientists have been curious to learn more about the world beyond. NASA's Voyager 1 is still traveling beyond the solar system, even after 45 years of its launch. Recently, scientists are baffled because this venerable space probe appears to be acting strangely. NASA's Voyager 1 is traveling into outer space on a perilous and mysterious trip. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have traveled beyond the limits of the solar system and into the interstellar medium placing them approximately 14.6 billion miles from Earth. Additionally, these are vintage crafts, placing them as they were launched in the 1970s. Therefore, NASA engineers were stunned when Voyager 1 started to send home strange, jumbled gibberish instead of telemetry data in May of this year. Stay till the end to find out how Voyager 1 returns to its peak performance. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space and technology. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. According to the NASA Kennedy Space Center's official fact sheet, Voyager 1 was launched two weeks after Voyager 2 on September 5, 1977. In 2012, the pioneering spacecraft departed our solar system and blasted off towards interstellar space. The most distant object created by humans is currently 14.5 billion kilometers from Earth. Both spacecraft weighed around 720 kilograms, or about the same as a subcompact car. They were both launched during a window of special outer planet alignments that caused a slingshot effect to launch the spacecraft. According to what NASA's engineers can discern, Voyager 1's AACs is generating data at random that does not represent what's actually happening aboard. Even still, the spacecraft's antenna appears to be correctly positioned, as it is receiving and carrying out NASA commands, as well as sending data back to Earth. According to the report, the system problem has not yet caused the aged spaceship to enter safe mode, in which it only performs crucial tasks. So, it has served as our go-to source of information for learning about diverse facts and enigmatic space phenomena. The first spacecraft to do so was Voyager 1, which began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978 while orbiting Jupiter at a distance of around 265 million kilometers. It returned a large number of photographs to us, taking 3,750 photographs of Jupiter's rotation over the course of an astonishing 100 hours. Starting in January 1979, the Voyager 1 produced a time-lapse movie depicting 10 of the planet's spins after passing through the Jovian moon system in February 1979 and a month later. It discovered the little ring around Jupiter. In order to approach Saturn, Voyager 1 was prepared to avoid a probable collision with one of Saturn's moons, Titan. Scientists decided to end the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and sent both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. During its orbit of Saturn, Voyager 1 also discovered four additional moons, including Mimas, Enceladus, Dione, and Rhea. The Voyager Interstellar Mission, a new mission launched in January 1990, was responsible for some of the most iconic photos ever taken of the Sun and most of the planets known as the Solar System Family Photos. They were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, when it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. However, for a variety of reasons, Mars and Mercury are not visible in the shots. In all, 60 pictures were captured, increasing the total number of photos obtained by Voyager 1 to 67,000. Along with the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and 2, the spacecraft's canvas was ultimately shut off to save power and memory before its interstellar journey. NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons spacecraft. Before Voyager 1 passed by Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, Pioneer 10 was the farther spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its journey for an additional 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. With no other space probes in sight to catch up with it, but NASA didn't publicly announce the achievement until 2013. Fast forward to November of 2018, after Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and reached the interstellar medium. Both space probes were considered to have formally exited the solar system. Since it entered the unknown territory outside of our solar system, Voyager 1 has continued to give us important information that no other space probe missions have been able to uncover. It is currently estimated to be 14.5 billion miles or 155 AU from Earth. The spaceship has been in good health for the bulk of its 45-year trip through orbit. According to recent unusual anomalies in its performance that scientists have detected, Voyager 1 appears to be uncertain about its geographical coordinates, 
and is now transmitting mysterious messages back to Earth. Although scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to enter safe mode or sound an alarm in the situation that it becomes lost in space, up until this point, it hasn't. Additionally, its antenna, which transmits data back to Earth, appears to be in perfect working order. Although the data it has recently been transmitting is questionable, despite the fact that the interstellar explorer is following orders from Earth and collecting and sending scientific data, according to a NASA official statement, readouts from the probe's articulation and control system do not precisely reflect the probe's position. Every interstellar ship, including the Voyager 1 and 2, carries a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disc with audio and video communications in case alien beings happen to discover the spaceship. Just a few of the contents on the disc include 115 pictures of life, the previous US president's welcome, and 90 minutes of Western music. President Jimmy Carter and previous president Kurt Wilhelm are both recorded in 55 different languages. So if aliens took control, they would likely be attempting to decode the messages. Scientists have immediately disproved theories that the spaceship is currently controlled by aliens. The Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS, is crucial to the operation of Voyage because, among other things, it keeps the spacecraft's antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can receive data appropriately. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, engineers monitoring the situation currently believe the AACS is operating as it should, which only adds to the mystery we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features intended to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated. Unsolved mysteries like this are very popular. Susan Dodd also notes that the engineering team working on Voyager 1 will have some difficult obstacles in trying to resolve the issue. It is almost hard to conduct a rescue effort given the distance between us and the space probe. Since the spacecraft is so far away, communications sent to Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to arrive at its current location, requiring two days on average for a two-way conversation. Another NASA statement claims that until the nature of the issue is better understood, the crew is unable to determine whether this would affect how long the spacecraft can collect and send scientific data. Regardless of how things turn out, we can be grateful that this illustrious space probe has already completed its mission because, according to Susan Dodd, the engineering team is confident that the issue will be resolved. It was discovered that the AACS had begun transmitting its telemetry data via an onboard computer that has long since failed. All the data sent out was tainted by the deceased machine. All NASA engineers had to do was instruct the AACS to relay its data home using the appropriate computer. NASA got to work on the record-breaking spacecraft's remote diagnosis and repair. But a little over four months later, they had won. As if nothing ever occurred, Voyager 1 is back up and running and communicating flawlessly with ground control. As straightforward as anything could be with a 22-hour telecommunications lag in either direction or billions of miles of space in between, the remedy really proved to be. However, there is still a problem. The next task will be to identify the precise reason why the AACS switched machines in the first place. According to NASA, the system most likely took bad instructions from another onboard computer. The true offender will need to be located and addressed in order to stop further weirdness, even though they claim that is not now a serious concern for Voyager 1's well-being. Do tell us your views in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.